Welcome to People. I'm Shirley Lin. Today I have Fanny Xu in the studio with me. She is the director of Cortronic Culture and Arts Foundation, and、uh, we're going to hear a lot of her stories about、uh, how she spent 18 years abroad and how she came back to discover、uh, Taiwan through a very special way. So、um, let's talk to Fanny. Hi, Fanny. Hi, Shirley. Hi,、yeah. everyone. Hello. Hello. All right. You spent 18 years abroad, and you、mm-hmm. were uh, abroad uh, starting in high school.、Mm-hmm. Where did you go, and what did you do?、Um, at age 15, I was sent to Canada to study in Vancouver High School, and then I went to college in Toronto. And after I finished college, I went to New York and spent 10 years、uh, studying and working there. It's a, I think I still think it's the best city in the world for people、um, in the art arts. profession. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So,、um, what was your major specifically?、Um, yeah, it's an interesting story. A lot of people ask me now, how <laughs> did I get into the art business? Yeah.、Um, I think before、um, when we were growing up in Taiwan,、uh, if you got if you got with school. I don't think can ever imagine. I, I can't even imagine myself getting into the area、arts. of art. All yeah, right. Because、yeah. art equal poverty, maybe. Or <laughs> <laughs> someone actually said that to you. No,、before. I think it's just.、Uh, I think it's embedded in a lot of our thinking. You know,、oh. unless you're truly、um, passionate about art,、uh, you do have to take the consequences with you. Right. Yeah. What about your parents? What did they think about the well, arts? Well, I think they've always been quite encouraging. I know we took、um, some art classes, yeah. yeah, and so they they gave us the options. But、uh-huh. I think it's just myself thinking. If I want to be able to hold a job and support myself, art may not be a good、uh, profession、yeah. to get into. Right.、Yeah. But、uh, I think that's why it's so amazing、uh, when we when I left Taiwan to go to Canada and study.、Uh, one of the、um, art art class、uh, uh-huh. art classes、uh, teacher in art class. Ask me one question when、mm-hmm. we we're thinking about our major in college, and she told me, "If you're so、um, passionate about art, why can't you think about getting into the art profession and make it in, make it as part of a, your career?" Before that, I don't think I actually、really? seriously think about it. So you think you got your interest into arts because of the, the fact that when the teacher. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, in Canada. In Canada. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought about taking an、um, art studio. Then you become like a, a, an artist.、Um, but her her words、um, reminded me、um, or inspired me to look into other options, and that's how I found a program called arts management, which combined art、uh-huh. history and business management. So and that was the time when、um, I think the programs just started、um, in the West. People realize, you know,、um, they need people who are in both sides,、yeah. who have a very solid business training、mm-hmm. as well as a solid art background,、oh. yeah, to run places like museums or galleries. So this teacher must have discovered something about your talent in art. Were you into drawing or photography,、yeah. or what was it? <laughs> that was a, another interesting story. Yeah. When we first、um, went to Canada, of course, our English English is not good enough, but we are very good in vocabulary. That's the upbringing in Taiwan. We have all the cram school. And <laughs> yes, we memorize all the vocabularies. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. But of course, speaking and、uh, writing are not、um, the best. So first, we we were sent to art classes because that's the class we don't really need to talk too much. Huh? No, so, really? Yeah, yeah.、Uh, not all classes. Yeah.、Uh, one or two art classes. Uh huh.、Um, in Taiwan, I think we 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 ne- we skip a lot of art classes. <laughs> For me, so it's like heaven. So、right. she can tell that I was, you know, very happy、um, in doing a lot of drawing and pen- painting, and also took ceramic classes. You know, pottery making. Yeah. Yeah, that's something you don't do.、Wow. <laughs> well, let me ask you: Did you ever get to make rings, rings? jewelry? Jewelry. I I, I think I took、uh, classes later on. Metal. Yeah. yeah yes. I, I love know. That. Any crafts, the、yeah. handmade. You know, you actually create your, you know, with your own hands.、Mm. I like that. Because I, you know, I spent、uh, my high school years, junior、mm-hmm. high and high school years in Japan, and、mm-hmm. I went to an international school.、Mm-hmm. And actually, for art classes, we got to play around with metal. And、yeah. I remember making、Jewelry、a ring, makings. very most simple kind of ring. Yeah, you know? it's the most amazing thing to、yeah. to to get a and work of art. 
by your own hands. Right. So that's that I think that's the 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 uh, excitement you get when you are um, doing art creation. Right. Yeah. Let's talk about um, you know just your experience in art galleries, mm -hmm. you know, antiques, especially Chinese yes. antiques and uh, <laughs> and auctions. Yes. I mean, you're young, and I couldn't imagine you understanding mm -hmm. Chinese antiques. antiques. Yeah. Uh, that's another interesting I know, uh, fact. Um, after I finished college in Toronto, so I know um, art management. It's a it's um, one of the career like I like to pursue. Um, so I applied NYU, New York University, and got into the master program. It's called visual art administration. So they get into a very specific field. They have performing arts administration. They also have visual arts administration. Uh -huh. So in that field, we study about how you manage an art gallery, or art auction, or even an art foundation. Mm -hmm. And so every day you read about, and it's all uh, more practical. Uh, training rather than theoretical, like writing a paper. So we That's read good. New York Times every single day, learning about the real situations facing by all those uh, organizations. And we talk about, we do case studies on the challenges and uh, opportunities that each museum or foundation or um, galleries faces. So it's a real life uh, experience and we also have to do internships in um, museums or galleries. Yeah. So um, I think I was very fortunate right after school I was able to find a job working at an art gallery mm. uh, specialized in Chinese antiques. Wow. That can use my uh, language, you know, background sure. in Chinese, but uh, not so much about the Chinese art history. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know back in Taiwan we study about all those histories, but I probably didn't pay too much attention to that. <laughs> You're, oh. you're being so funny yeah. here. But the memories, you know, it's just have to memorize all those facts can be boring. <laughs> so I have to learn from scratch. But it's fun learning uh, by handling works of art. But of course, you reminded me all the stories we, we, we hear all the time when we're little, which is um, the, my boss would never know, including mm -hmm. like we, we handle... Um, your, your boss is Caucasian, right? Yeah, Not American. Asian. Right. He used to work for Sotheby's and uh, was the uh, uh, president of North America. Uh -huh. So after several years working in, uh, in the auction business and in the in Chinese antique field, he left uh, the corporation and started his own gallery. Oh, wow. So um, most of his clients are collectors passionate about Chinese works of art, who's been collecting and learning about Chinese culture for over 20, 30 years. So right. it's amazing um, time, yeah. journey to be talking to those people why they're so much into Chinese philosophy and right. culture and to be working with them. Yeah, yeah, I just realized that actually the customers that you're dealing with while you work in the gallery uh, are actually um, Caucasians, Americans, mm -hmm. foreigners, yeah, or Europeans. who are foreign to yes. the Chinese history or arts. Yeah. And so, so that makes you stand out for your role. Mm -hmm. It becomes very important in your position to explain and, yeah. you know, and impresses them. Yeah, because, I think it's a mutual, yeah. mutual learning. 